Welcome boys and girls, Costine here with Stellar Blade on PC to talk about the mouse and keyboard controls for the game, how the game handles and what kind of changes you may want to make for mouse and keyboard. Now this is the demo, the full game does come out in a couple of days, but I don't really expect any kind of changes with respect to mouse and keyboard. It does handle pretty well from a response uh, perspective. Performance-wise, I'm running at about 100 FPS at the moment, and I'm not using any upscaling. I only have DLA-A, which is anti-aliasing, not upscaling, enabled. So if we look at the various settings over here, borderless windowed mode, HDR off, I'm using RTX HDR for the sake of this, motion blur off, film grain on, chromatic operation, operation off. And if we look at the graphics, everything pretty much set to maximum. I'm also using NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Maybe I should set that to boost as well. But everything is set to the maximum level. So pretty good performance overall at 1440p over here. Now, in terms of mouse and keyboard controls, the response that I'm getting over here when I'm doing things like I'm attacking, I'm dodging, I'm sprinting, it is pretty good, but the actual controls that the developers have set up are a bit questionable in certain respects. So for instance, your default key for dodging is shift. Makes sense, but here's the problem. Your default key for sprinting is V, or you can hold down shift in order to uh, sprint. So that's the, the hold down, you have the toggle with V. If you want to, that's up to you. I do find this a bit awkward because if I press down shift, she's first gonna do a dodge and then she's gonna start sprinting. So it's not exactly great in terms of the controls. We do have almost fully customizable keys. It is a bit of annoying to have to go through a menu that's showing what keys you have and then to be able to customize controls. So there's a couple of awkward things over here with regards to it. So in terms of sprinting, as I already covered, just a bit awkward with, with that, I would personally just change um, these two keys between each other. So switch sprint uh, holding to V or unbounding it if you can, I don't think it's possible, and then toggle sprint uh, to shift, but then that's gonna create a problem with dodge. I find dodging with shift to be a bit awkward in quite a few ways. So instead, I'm going to switch the dodge key to uh, something else, but that's gonna be a bit of a problem. For, uh, for now, we're just going to put it to U, just placeholder, because there's other things to talk about over here. Uh, lock on, uh, lock on, rotate, all that, those are locked by default. You can use um, an auxiliary key, but a couple of things like scanning, so your tab key is taken, your ESC, uh, escape key is taken. It's a bit annoying with tab because I could have used that as either spring key or dodge key or even a jump key. Uh, but if we look over here, so quick attack, strong attack, guard, parry. Okay, so parry, let's talk about this for a second. By default, it's set to E. Personally, I find it a bit awkward to deal with it on E. You could keep this if you want to, or you could use E for something else that's not necessarily going to be uh, as intensive. Instead, I'm going to use caps lock. It is a bind, it does work. I know it can be a bit awkward for certain people to use caps lock as a bind, but it is a bind that uh, does work um, pretty well. Like, you keep your full movement range with W, A, S, and E, and obviously your mouse. Like, one of the things to mention about mouse and keyboard, you're not really moving just with the keyboard, you're moving with the mouse. Because, like, wherever you point out with the mouse, uh, that's where you're going to move when you're holding down a movement key. So, you, let's say you hold down W, the direction you're pointing your mouse in. So, you do have pretty good accuracy of movement and something that's worth pointing out. By the way, Gotta give credit to the developers that they decided not to be annoying in terms of like, oh, this game is meant to be played with a controller. That is pretty frustrating, by the way. Uh, now, in terms of other things, before we change more keys, I'd recommend going into accessibility menu and you could enable QT auto success. Personally, I despise QT, so I'd probably just enable that. 
Fishing controls uh, replacement if you want to um, use that. Auto loot items, I'd keep this on. There's a bunch of tiny items all over the levels. So keep that on. You can disable the puzzle time limit if you want to. Fall prevention. Um, so it prevents you from falling during sections that require sensitive controls. I would not necessarily um, enable that personally, but yeah, I would just enable auto loot items. And in terms of other things over here, yeah, turn off subtitles over here for me personally. Um, and then disabled speaker name, okay, all good. Um, what else I would look to do with regards to these kind of controls is all the way down here. So you have switch lock on targets with mouse movement. So when you're moving a mouse, you can just switch a target, okay? You do have a switch to range mode to either hold or toggle if uh depend on how you want to use it i personally would use toggle for that switch to walk mode use hold for that maybe uh, sometimes you'd want to switch it to toggle uh, ranging correction okay lock on target switching sensitivity okay that's fine auto lock on when exiting range mode i think i would keep this off and auto lock on when attacking one of the things to be said about these kind of games is there are times you want to lock on, there's times you want to not lock on, especially automatically. Uh, the default key for lock on is the middle mouse button, so it's very, very easy to use uh, with respect to that, so I would not really uh, worry too much about that, but yeah. I would keep auto lock on uh, when attacking off. Um, everything uh, and auto lock on when exiting range mode Everything else in terms of accessibility, uh, except auto loot, right? Um, I would keep by default. Pretty solid uh, controls though, pretty solid set of options over here, all kinds of sensitivity options uh, that you do have available over here. And hey, it's nice that we can disable uh, uh, quick time events. Now in terms of mouse and keyboard, so if we're looking at customizing controls, okay, so jump, by default is set to space, makes sense, right? It's just the convention, if you will, with regards to jump. Uh, quick attack, left mouse button, strong attack, right mouse button. But we do have that problem with dodge. Now, normally I would put dodge on alt, but alt is already taken over. And range mode, by the way, is set to control. So with range mode, I'm gonna put that to Z, I think using control especially when you're using your pinky for things like sprinting or things like pairing if you send it to caps lock but you're using your pinky for other things for scanning for instance for spraying by default having to cr click control is just pretty awkward and depending on how much you're going to use range mode you don't want that to be um uh, you don't want that to be uh, awkward at all. You want them to be quick and fast. It's not necessarily the most ideal bind. You can um, you can also set in terms of range mode. Um, you can also set it potentially. I think no. It uh, so uh, one of my mouse buttons uh, doesn't. Um, one is used already, the other one won't work, so if I try and hold, uh, hold that down, it's just not going to work. Maybe if I could have bound it on a side mouse button, that would have been great, but, you know. Hitting Z to enter range mode, especially if it's a toggle, that's not really going to be a problem, as far as I see it. But what about... Uh, what about dodging? How, how should you handle the dodge key? Well, there's... Two choices as I see it with regards to it and it depends on how you how much you care about jumping so one of the options would be to set the jump to F and then switch the F key which is used for interaction you can switch that uh, you can switch that to the unused E right so you can interact with E jump with F and that will give you the space bar for dodging that's one option the other option would be to use Alt, uh, to use uh, space for jumping as it is by default. And then with dodging, 
uh, you set that up to alt. I think this is pretty good because it allows you to use your thumb to either jump or dodge very quickly, but this creates a problem with burst skills. So what do you do with burst skills? Well, as I said, control can be an awkward key to use if you're using a console, but it's not necessarily the biggest problem if you've got a skill that you may not use all the time, right? So burst skill, uh, we're going to set this up to control. So burst skill one, burst skill two, burst skill three, and burst skill four. Not really the best uh, bind uh, in the world regards that, but it depends on how you want to view uh, the jumping situation uh, in the game, right? How do you want to view that uh, uh, that situation in the game in terms of like uh, jumping? Like you could set it to E, you know, just for the sake, or you could set jumping to F, and because uh, it's it's a pretty easy key to hit. F is a pretty easy key, but it depends on your kind of preferences with regards to, uh, to that. So, like. Uh, so parrying when you've got cast lock is pretty easy, I find. Even though they're this particular uh, enemy has multiple attacks. And so is dodging what uh, with all. He does have that combo of attack, so let's, uh, let's go over here. So, yep, that's a fancy move over there. It does handle pretty well. Uh, performance pretty solid. The only times I've actually... Okay, blow up. Those are the kind of binds I would personally use. I'm still... Uh, still a bit iffy. Uh, still a bit iffy with regards to jumping and burst skills, but I guess that will depend on the burst skills. But yeah, performance pretty solid. Just gotta get used to the game, but yeah. I mean, so far it handles pretty well. It does run pretty well. It looks pretty solid. Uh, I haven't had crashes or performance issues. Well, okay, when I tried to run the game in 4K, and I was also put stressing my system in other ways on 4K, like you know, having Google Chrome with RTX HDR and Google Chrome and all that, yeah, there were some issues, but that's uh, a question. Like, uh, there is jumping available in the game, so you gotta be aware that there are jump puzzles, so depends on what you feel comfortable with respect to that. Like, using space to dodge. Well, in God of War, I used alt, and I found alt to be a pretty good key for the sake of dodging, so that was not really a problem. Yeah, just some weird choices by the developers um, in terms of some of the binds they've, uh, they've chosen. But what I find with these games, like, a lot of developers don't want to use caps lock as a default bind. I, I mean, I can understand why, right? It's like, people do find that weird, but it's like, caps lock is a bind you should be able to use it, and you can use it. So it it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. In that respect. One of the things I do find a bit, and like, it would have been nice if the tab key was open, because but we do have the scanning action uh, to deal with in the game, uh, and that's set by default to tab. I mean, I, I understand. I understand uh, why the developers uh, prevent you from changing. You can, you can dodge in there. So yeah, being able to have good jumping controls is going to be 
uh, pretty important in the game as well. Now let's see if we can... There we go. That's a repost. Perfect parry, huh? I assume that's a repost. Anyway. That's all I had to say. Questine signing out. Looking forward to the full game. Gonna play the demo. Uh, see uh, fully. See what's there. But yeah, so far, pretty good handling. And I'm not seeing like any kind of real performance losses unless like there's a cinematic moment. Like some of the cinematics do cause like some FPS drops. Uh, at least that's what I've seen. But outside of that, like if I think about like my experience in Elden Ring. Like, there was a lot of micro stuttering in Elden Ring. Not sure how Night Rain is. Not interested in Night Rain, personally. Um, but yeah, that was one of the issues I had with Elden Ring that I don't see present here. At least in moment to moment gameplay. That there were some performance drops when, you know, you enter a cinematic and there's a lot of things happening. That's a different discussion. Uh, what's worth pointing out that the game is the game does have a setting over here when you start it. Uh, at least by default, it's going to target the frame rate of 60. It's going to have VSync on. Recommend turning it off, assuming you have the computer to be able to handle this game. I do think it's pretty well optimized, all things considered. Stay tuned for more.